terug bij je goed vol ontbijt programma dus ik spreek zo hier op SBS3. Na drie programma begin voor ogen het echt veel gevraagd hoeveel tea sakjes of hoeveel kopjes tea dag drink jij en wat doe je met je oerski tea sakjes? Wel als je antwoord is je gooit je tea sakjes weg is dat die verkeerde antwoord. Maar wij zijn die naar jullie hier vandaag en zij gaan voor ons en voor ons wijs wat zij doen met oerski tea sakjes. Morning, welcome to Expresso. Thank you. You started your own company on recycling tea bags. Yes. Tell me about your company. Okay, um, we recycle tea bags and we turn the tea bags into jewelry and we also decorate soaps and we do fudge. We, fudge? Uh, yes. Fudge from old tea bags? Yes, uh, we wanted to get into fudge because uh, most of the tea bags are coming from the coffee shops. Mm -hmm. So we said um, customers come in, they use the tea bag, we take the same tea bag and we decorate the fudge, which you could buy from a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. I think it's appropriate to buy um, a fudge from a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could put some artwork in the coffee shop as well, which they can purchase. And I think it will be interesting and exciting. And people will be more interested because it was their cup, uh, their tea bag that was used. Now, how did this whole idea come about? Because I, I recycle my tea bags, and mm -hmm. I, a lot of viewers have also tweeted to say, this is what they do. They put it in a, a container, they put paraffin on it to use it for fire lighters. Yes. So that's what yes. we do. Yes. But you just took it all a step further. Yes, I took it to the next level, mm. totally to the next level. Um, I did a course in cake decorating. And I did it with a, ve a old lady. Mm -hmm. Hi, Auntie Hetty. <laughs> <laughs> it was all through her uh, because uh, when I did the course with her, she never threw anything away. And it made me think, uh, you know, uh, about throwing stuff away. And I said, let me use this tea bag. With the techniques that she showed me with cake decorating, I applied it on a tea bag. And wow. I came up, at first it was disastrous, <laughs> and with many attempts, this is the final product. Well, talk us through, there's the most beautiful jewelry pieces. I'm actually gonna put this one on. Okay. There we go, talk us through this, and, and what it is, and how you made it. Do you want me to help there, you with No, 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 there we, there we go, there we go. Okay, mm. yes, fantastic. Yes, uh, this is actually uh, the entire uh, uh, rooibos tea bag. Uh, the inside is the rooibos, which we use as beads. Wow, look at this. The outside is the uh, mm. tea bag itself, mm -hmm. which we use as the petals. And through a special technique, I was able to get the petals uh, to stand up like a real flower. That's what's amazing, is that this is standing up like a real mm. flower. And uh, it goes a step further in that we've got um, a carpenter who was throwing his offcuts to recycle these offcuts, and these discs are made from his offcuts. So this entire uh, piece of jewelry that you've got on is recycled. Well, Vashti, I know we're not finished chatting to you yet. We're going to catch up with you a bit later. If anyone else has any questions, I'm sure they can post onto our, our um, Facebook page, Express yes. Morning Show, SABC3. When we come back, I want to find out more about this fudge and how that is made. Okay. And if you've got any questions or if you've got any uh, uh, upcycling ideas when it comes to tea bags, who can let you know if you on Facebook Plaza Express or Morning Show, SLPSC3. It's now time to go to Leanne and Katlejo with the Express News. Where are you to? If you've just joined us, we have in studio with us Vashti Naidu today, and she's going to take us through an ingenious idea of what she has come up with. Now, in today's age of recycling and, re and reusing, Vashti has created something beautiful um, out of something that we often discard, and that's tea bags. Not only are her crafts gorgeous, but she's also helping those less fortunate and giving back to the community at the same time. She's here to show us some of her crafts today, and she's brought some of her friends along too. Vashti, tell us, how did you come about this idea? Uh, this idea started when I went for a course on cake decorating. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the lady that I did the course with, uh, she never threw anything away. Yeah. We always reused stuff. And so I uh, took the same uh, principles that she applied and I applied it to a tea bag. Wow. So it was the cake uh, decorating uh, techniques mm -hmm. that I applied on a tea bag yeah. and got the tea bag to look. Like that is absolutely incredible. My mom never throws anything away either, so it's, it's something that yeah. she probably will be very interested in. Yeah. How has this idea benefited your direct environment, the community around you? Because, I mean, if it's just highlighted things that we can think about, it surely it's done something in your community as well. Yes, I honestly believe this was a God-inspired mm. idea. And the idea only came to me, but it was for the upliftment yeah. for the, of the community to help others with employment. Mm -hmm. And so we looked at it and we looked at children uh, that were disabled and, and 
I'm surely after they finish school, they wouldn't find employment. Yeah. So this would actually create employment for wow. them. And we looked at uh, um, car guards mm. and those uh, ladies that are unemployed in our community. Yeah. And we tried to uh, teach them the skill. And we've taught them so far. Wow. And uh, so it's benefiting them in that way. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. That is incredible. So I see you've got a model here with yes. you, Vangeli. How are you? Tell us, take us through what she's wearing here today. It's pretty interesting. Yes, uh, she's got a, a traditional um, African outfit on. Yeah. And um, uh, the uh, jewelry is a proudly South African uh, product as well. So her entire gear, her dress and uh, the jewelry is proudly South African. And this brooch is made out of tea bags as yes. well, hey? Uh, That's a brooch. Yes, it is. Lovely. And this is uh, made with a Lipton tea bag. Yeah? So okay. thank you, Lipton, for making this tea bag so <laughs> big so awesome. we can get a big flower. And I like the earrings as well. Hey? Yes. Wow, yes. that's fascinating. Yeah. Well, it's amazing what you can do with tea bags. And just quickly take us through some of the things that we see here. These are earrings, earrings. necklaces, yes. uh, Alice band there as well, I see. Yes, uh, little gift bags. Mm -hmm. And we've done these uh, little cards you could use as oh, birthday cards, uh, get well cards. And uh, what's so special is everything is handmade. Yes. Yes. Every little thing is handmade wow. here. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. We have soap there too. Uh, that's fudge. You just what? Tea? It's fudge made out of? No, no, no. Oh. It's just been wrapped. Oh, okay, the... wonderful. I thought yes. that's pretty interesting. Well, um, Vashti, thank you so much. We're going to be talking to Vashti again after this. I might just get into a little bit of fudge after my workout. But thank you so much, Vashti. We'll talk to you later. But for now, let's go to an ad break. We'll see you right back after this. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.